The next thing we want to take a look at is creating our plan and or profile start seed file that we want to create. When we generate sheets with Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, we need to generate a sheet definitions DGN library that acts as the base settings. In this DGN library, it is required for plan or profile or plan and profile sheets that that particular DGN library have a base geometry alignment as well as a profile stored in the DGN library. So to do this, we're going to go to our seed folder. And again, I'm going to grab our base C2D metric file. I'm going to make a copy of that. And I have a new folder under my DGN lib folder structure called Sheet Seeds, which is where we're going to be working for the remainder of this video series. And I'm going to paste that file in here, and then I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call this one Plan or Profile Seed DGN. And do not make this a DGN lib. We want this one to be a DGN because it's our base seed file that we're going to put information into. All of our sheet definition files in this folder will indeed be DGN lib extensions, and we will pick those up to be able to sheet with. But this is our base seed file that we'll be using over and over again to generate our libraries. So let's go ahead and enter into this file. In this file, just like all the other files that we created, Let's verify that we have our active drawing scale set consistently and also that our working units under our file settings, file design file settings, that these working units are again consistent throughout. That is uh, significant that we make sure that we maintain that consistency for our master working units. Now we want to place our first piece of geometry. And so in my task here, I've selected the open roads modeling geometry tab and I want to place a line between two points and I have selected the feature definition here under alignment called geom scratch and I'm going to key in my starting location as zero zero that's not required but just to keep things neat and then I'm going to type in a distance this is metric so I would not imagine we'd have more than a thousand feet on a sheet. So I'll put a thousand here, enter, and then I'll use my arrow key and I'll type in a line direction of 90 and then accept that. And that places our horizontal piece of geometry that is required. Now we need to provide this horizontal geometry a profile. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to choose profile by constant elevation. Select a data point and then just give it an elevation arbitrarily and accept that. Now we want to open up a profile view as well. So I'm going to right click and go to view control and just select two views here. And in my first view, we have the geometry. And in the second view, we want to make that our profile model. So I'm going to select my geometry and hover over that and choose open profile model over here in view two. And now let's go ahead and save settings for those changes. And then lastly, we want to review the settings in the model. So I opened up the models dialog along with the properties, made sure again that my base scale was consistent and that I have the true sets on the cell placement. And if I take a look at the 3D, once that is verified, you can then save settings of this file and we're going to then close out and move to our next step. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.